The other thing that I was also thinking about today, and I'm not sure if I'm kind of softening on my stances just to be that kind of guy to soften on stances, but I've got some very strong opinions about birthdays. Where I think if you're over the age of 18, you shouldn't celebrate them. I think it's very they're very self-indulgent. They're very selfish. They're very greedy. They're very attention-seeking. They're very narcissistic in a way. And they bring out the worst in all of us. I think so. It's like the birthday version of a bridezilla. I hate it. But my stance is softening now. Because I heard somebody say recently, and this is a really good point I never really thought about. They were like, oh, I celebrate my birthday these days because the world is so flipped up. Everything is so upside down. Life is so hard for a lot of people. It doesn't really matter what level of the socioeconomic ladder you're on or how much you basically earn or where in the world you live. Life has gotten harder for everybody along the way. Post-pandemic type of thing, right? We're set into this new world, whatever it is. But it's got a little bit harder, but we're obviously adjusting to it. So somebody said... Considering how hard life is at the moment, they like to celebrate their birthday just as a sort of way to kind of give them at least one bit that they can control throughout the year. At least one occasion where they can celebrate and have some fun. And I was like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. If, the, if life for you day to day is quite difficult and you find joy in just one event that you can actually control, one event that you know you're going to have a good time on regardless you're going to have a good time usually having bad birthdays doesn't really happen right it's not really a thing um you usually create or usually kind of you know make sure the environment is like suited to your needs so it's unlikely you're going to have a bad time so when that person said that i was like you know what that's a really good point that's a really really good point but to counter that my only aversion to people who celebrate their birthdays are the type of people who celebrate everything. There's no time where they're having downtime, that everything is a turn up. So if your whole life is a turn up, or if your whole life is a series of events that you're forcing in order to document things for your Instagram, like some people are just literally living so they can have things to throw on the Instagram. If that's how you're living, no thank you. I don't want to see that, and I don't like you, and I think you're lame. But if you live an adult, life a young person's life where you got your responsibilities you got your leisure, leisurely activities you got your circle of friends you got your family and from time to time or from year to year you might want to celebrate your birthday have a bit of a bonanza that i don't mind but i think at the crux of it even though i hate celebrating birthdays i think my major crux has always been being a burden on people i don't like people burdening me like i hate people burdening me with things like giving me fucking responsibilities and making me feel like I'm fucking working for them, especially socially. Oh, you gotta come here, you gotta do it. It's like, bro, I don't have to do anything. I, I, I choose to do what I wanna do, but I don't have to do something. Like, fuck off. You're not my mom, you're not my dad. Leave me alone. You're not my boss, right? You're not my mother, you're not my father. You're not the rule, you're not the rule of me. What that guy said in the pizza shop, right? Or the bagel shop. You're not my brother, you're not my mother. You, you don't rule me, <laughs> yeah? So I hate when people give me obligations. So I'm one of those type of people, I like to do unto others, I like to, them to do unto me, right? If I, like to, if I want you to goon on me, you let me goon on you, okay? If, if you can splurge on me, let me splurge on you, okay? And by goon, I mean come, by the way. <laughs> so I prefer it that people just don't burden people. Because I think most people that have birthdays, they don't leave it open-ended. Like That's the thing that I, I realize. People are like texting you, like, hey, are you coming? Are you coming? No, I'm actually coming now. I just fucking checked out the Jocelyn Hernandez Playboy fucking editorial. I'm coming now, but I'm not coming to your thing, you know? So people don't even do open-ended. Because back in the day when I, when I was younger, I was in school, people would do like open-ended birthdays. Hey, guys, they'll send a little text around, like a big text announcing. Maybe like free texts towards the date, right? Heads up, reminder, last-minute reminder. And like, hey... I'm fucking, here's my birthday. It's taking place at this bowling alley. Here's my birthday. It's taking place in this pub in central London. Here's my birthday. We're all meeting at this restaurant here in West London. And then you, you would decide if you want to go or not. But no one's individually opening up another chat, another fucking DM window and texting you and saying, you, are you coming? 
Nah, it's just copy and paste announcement thing. That I'm okay with. Just so like an alert. Hey guys, I put all you to, don't worry, don't have to reply. You're in a group message. I'm just letting you guys know, here's my birthday. I'm celebrating here. If you can come, come, it'd be nice to see you. Boom, then leave it open-ended, you know what I mean? Then if I'm in the mood, I'll come if I want to come. But don't send me bespoke, don't send me an invitation. Don't send me a fucking direct message. Don't, don't fucking be like liking my stuff. Like what some people do is all now. Oh, let's start, let, let, me, let me start liking your stuff. So you see me in your now, bro. I'm not some baddie. Don't be chasing me, don't be chasing me around like I'm some baddie or something. I know I've got a big bum and shit, but I'm not a baddie. All right. I know I've got a fucking massive derriere, but I'm not a fucking baddie. Don't be like chasing me around, leave liking all my pictures in a row so I can see a notification. I'll be like, oh my God, it's Barry's birthday. I forgot. Like, nah, I didn't forget. I don't want to come. Don't invite me. I don't want to fucking come. Leave me alone. Honestly, bro, I fucking hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Obligations. Friendship obligations needs to stop. We're already being obliged. You get obliged to fucking pay your council tax. You're obliged to pay your rent or your mortgage. You're obliged to pay your fucking road tax, your petrol. Huh? You're obliged to fucking pay your Oyster card nowadays. Because, you know, we're big people now. We're not going to fucking bump the gates, right? You're not bumping the gates at your big age. So you're obliged to do all these things. Don't oblige me as a friend to do stuff. Honestly. You oblige me, I'm never speaking to you again. On God. On God in heaven. You oblige me, I'm never speaking to you again. Don't oblige me. Leave me alone. I understand you like your birthday, enjoy. Get your little shitty fucking blow up balloons and your little fucking badge, right? Because, you know, you know, go do your stuff. But leave me out of it, man. Leave me out of it. Most of us don't give a fuck. It's another day. It's another year. Life keeps on going. You know what I mean? You just level up. You pour yourself a little drink. My, my tradition nowadays, I'll buy myself a fucking box of magnums. You can go on Amazon now and you can buy yourself a box of like six, six magnums. I, f I forgot, they're quite, it's, it's much better price than the off license. I'll buy a box of six Magnums, I'll leave them in the fridge, right? I might give myself a little baggie, right? I might get some, a, little, a, little, a little eight ball of multivitamins. I'll crack open the fucking Magnum, look outside my window at all the people passing by, salute my fucking Magnum to the moon and to the universe, right? Take a bit of my multivitamins to the nose. Whoop, there you go, multivitamins, I'm now awake. A little swig of the Magnum, boom, Bob's your uncle, Granny's your aunt, I'm done. I don't even post it on the stories. No one even knows, bro. No one knows. Try and guess my birthday now. Exactly, you don't know. I don't post it up on here, man. I'm not like, oh, it's, my, it's another year. Hoping, hoping people say something and give me a fucking, re like, I don't give a fuck. Leave me alone. It's mine. I'm celebrating it. I'm doing this baggy on my own of multivitamins. I'm drinking this fucking, you know, Magnum by myself. I don't need you to fucking acknowledge it. Like, fuck all that shit, man. Honestly. God damn, I fucking hate it. All these people are like, oh, thank you for, thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you, everyone, brother. I see you. Or, or what some people do nowadays. Some fucking dorks, some nerds, some neeks, some fucking idiots do nowadays. Hey, guys, I see all the birthday messages. I can't reply to every single one. But um, thank you so much for reaching out and sending me all the love. Thank you, God. Like, who are you, man? You're not fucking Tyler. Who are you? Who are you? You think you're Sabrina Carpenter or something? Who the fuck are you? Yeah, you're that in demand. I can't answer all the emails and all the things. Like, you ain't got that many, man. Just reply back. How about you can't reply back? Just reply back, man. They sent you a message. Reply back. That's the least you can do. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't get back to everybody. You can't get back to everybody. You got 300 followers, Sarah. Sarah, you have 300 followers. You work as a receptionist, Sarah. Sarah, you have 300 followers. Reply back to the people, bro. About 50 of them probably text you. Reply back. 10 of them work with you. 10 of them work with you. 10 of them can see you right now. 10 of them can see you across the office right now. Reply back to them, Sarah. Oh, I can't, I got, I, it's a bit too much. It's too overwhelming. I can't really reply back to all the messages. Sarah, put down the fucking croissant. Put down the fucking matcha. Huh? Put down the bubble tea and reply back. I can't go any Fucking donuts. Honestly, I already hate birthdays. Imagine I'm sending you birthday wishes. You don't you don't even reply back. You don't even double heart the message. But then I see a story from you saying, sorry guys, I can't. It's a bit overwhelming. I'm gonna be pissed. 
I, I already hate birthdays. I made the effort to send you a, a fucking birthday wishes and now you're fucking giving me the fucking big time treatment. You're coming true. You're coming true like you're some fucking star. Like you're fucking Harry Styles or some shit. Huh? Huh? Fuck out of here, man. Double heart my message. Reply back or don't ever post another birthday message again. I'm warning you. Don't ever celebrate your birthday around me again. I'm warning you. Celebrate your birthday around me again. You know who you are. Exactly. Before I get really mad. <sighs> Anyways. Apart from that, I've had a great day. <laughs> apart from that, I've had a great day. <laughs> I've had a great day. I'm super happy. I'm in the best mood ever, all right? <laughs> Life couldn't be better. Life couldn't be better, all right? Cool, 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 cool. Anyways...